What's going on, folks? That Sports Gamer here. Bullpen Banter episode number 37 in a row. Uh, we got the tandem of Chris's. I may call them Chris I. Uh, we got Snaggle J. Sir, how's it going? Very well, thank you. I tricked him by saying his name first in front of Millennium OS. I was not prepared for that, absolutely. Caught me a little off guard there. Millennium, how's it going? Millennium, hard on that new button. Mainly just want to say, no, I wasn't muted. I just want you to let you know how I feel when I'm not first. I mean... No, I'm just so, kidding. Someone called me <laughs> I'm just kidding. Name, not even being in the show description. I mean, things happen. That was this Words game. were said. What can you do? Hey. I know what we can do. We know that's that. show. MLB the show. Lots and lots of information today. So much that we weren't going to do a show today. We were going to wait till uh, the stream Thursday. Look at this. Here's the content schedule thing. Wednesday is the Diamond Dynasty deep dive. We get dynamic with it. Um, so we were going to take the day off and just hang out, relax, take it easy. But no, so much stuff dropped. We got Game Informer stuff. We got GameStop stuff. Uh, so we had a lot to talk about tonight. So we figured, strap on our mics, plug them in hard, and uh, we're going to come on here and, and talk to you about some stuff, guys. Uh, so, you guys excited? We got a huge info dump from uh, Ramon over at Game Informer today. Uh, then we caught a, a GameStop video in the afternoon. Uh, do we just want to go through this? We can go through this whole thing like bang, bang, bang. Uh, how do we want to do this? Well, I think a lot of it was repeated from last week. Uh, even, I mean, it's it's still valid info, and it's in writing now, whereas opposed to last week, it was, you know, this might happen. They, they talked about it a little bit on the stream, but um, the new ball, fifth, new ball physics and hit types, easy for you to say. Yeah, uh, also, Millennium was too cool to hang out with us uh, last Friday when we talked about this stuff, so we can get your opinion on some of this if uh, you want to give it right quick. Right, but, I mean, what I like about it is it's been obvious for a while that when you hit the ball especially if it's in a weird zone you get some weird hit types like a ball low and outside gets hit over the left field wall it's just things that don't normally happen were happening too much so it's nice to see the new ball physics the new bat physics you know round bat round ball i talk about that all the time um and the difference what i wasn't expecting to see that really came up was the height of the batter the angle of the pitch the swing of the or the spin of the pitch itself all of that interacting uh, and i said this on my side of this i think that's going to make finesse pitchers valid again Ooh, look at this what, look guys we did not we did not conversate with millennium about this yeah i know i figured that i mean it, we never talk at all yeah. but, but all that being said i think that is going to make you know having finesse pitchers being able to have ground ball pitchers um guys that don't throw 95 96 where velo is not the end game anymore i think um i think millennium so listens to bullpen banter when he's not here it's funny uh depending <laughs> on what video you watched first no it's kidding. no uh, yeah we actually hey. Uh, one of the things we actually mentioned was that some of the late game, uh, some of the late game cards that came out this year, that people were like, "Oh, these cards kind of suck." They might be really nice next year. Uh, specifically, like that '91 Cliff Lee that came out uh, in the off season. That might be a beast next year with all this new stuff going on. Uh, again, in MLB 16, he can't get it up there like '95, '96, so he's kind of worthless. But uh, in MLB 17, he might be a beast. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, just real quick before we get into this, I'm not going to rehash a bunch of stuff that we already talked about on Friday. Um, everyone can go watch the archive over at uh, youtube.com slash thatsportsgamer if you want to check that out, episode 36. Um, I just think today, in a general kind of sense, um, I think that if you were not a 10 out of 10 hyped for Wednesday's Diamond Dynasty stream, <laughs> that video that came out, probably pushed you to at least a 10 some people into like a 13 or 14 range because that was for a lot of hardcore dd players in the community basically everything that they wanted in a two-minute video yeah a lot of stuff a lot of look good we got a bunch of screenshots of that uh that we're gonna go over uh in a minute uh just a couple things I wanted to point out uh from that game informer piece uh something like 
Uh, game's over a thousand new gameplay animations, including non-perfect mistake animations, uh, which they didn't have in the past. Uh, a bunch of new home run swings and stuff, which I think they mentioned. Uh, I guess this is part of that new uh, that new face rig stuff. Uh, so on the Game Informer piece, they had some of the new face uh, face images. Uh, so here you have Anthony Rizzo from MLB o uh, MLB 16 uh, compared to MLB 17. Uh, also, Ramon tweeted that these are both based off the fa same face scan. Uh, so you can just see how much more in-depth they're able to get now uh, with, I guess, that face rig technology that they're using. Uh, totally well, that's not actually the face rig. This, this, is, not the face rig? this, is, this is different, yeah. So this isn't face rig, or head. It's I think it's called head, head rig, rig, actually. Head rig. head rig is new scanning. Um, like, like, their scanning process is different. What's cool is... This, like you said, this is the same face scan. This is not an updated face scan for Rizzo or Scherzer. So this is the way that their game processes the scan information they already have. Um, so the, the head rig stuff, they're talking. you're going to talk about some facial motions and stuff like that. That is, is head rig. Um, but these scans here were, were more worked done to the graphic engine. Um, and you can see what got me the most, and you'll see it more in Scherzer than you will in Rizzo, but you can kind of see the sideburns on Rizzo. Um, the hair. The hair looks so much better, mm -hmm. in, especially the facial hair, on the on the right side than it does the left. Uh, and then the eye black, obviously, on Rizzo looks amazing. Yeah, then on yeah. Scherzer. You see, and on Scherzer specifically, because uh, he has two different colored eyes, uh, you can see the the depth of the eyes is a lot more uh, realistic because last year it was just kind of flat, uh, and this year it looks like the eyes have depth to them. Yeah, I think whoever was able, or the the few people who were able to process the additional tens of thousands of line of code to take the sixteen face scan and turn it into what seventeen outputs, probably deserve a pretty sizable raise. Um, I mean, you're looking at pictures of literally the same face scan and what they're able to do from a processing graphical side to make them look that realistic. And yeah, that was the first thing I agree with Millennium 100%. The hair sticking out from under the hat and on the sides just really jumps out at you in those images on the right hand side. Uh, some of the work done on the faces in particular include sweat effects, new skin tone, lighting, and textures, and eyes with more depth and life. Oh, I didn't even read that, and I knew it already. Uh, the latter includes getting the eye shapes right. Yeah, you can see the eyes. The eye shape uh, looks a lot better on these. Uh, well, not just the eye shape, but like look at stuff like crow, like the crow's feet, um, the wrinkles on Scherzer's forehead, um, even something like the dimple, the the chin dimple he has. It just it feels like there's depth and and the the same thing with Rizzo like the one on the left kind of looks you know it, it looks like they colored something to make it look like depth whereas the one on the right looks like you know there actually is depth to that and like I said again the shirts are facial hair stubble stubble is something they've had problems with for many years yeah. looking realistic. Um, so, so the stubble actually looks like it's part of the face, not this painted on thing. Now, the one, and, and what that brings me to is what we can hope for is the guys with facial hair in their face scans. Maybe that becomes removable. Um, that's complete speculation, though. I would like to see that because I've been dealing with Chris Davis with a beard for the last three years. <laughs> and, and he doesn't wear a beard during the season. It's just timing on the scan yeah yeah uh some of the other stuff they say uh the shadows on players faces when wearing caps was fake last year and in 17 they're going to be using the real lights uh uniform details also improved including the slider for sleeve length uh they're going to be doing stuff for ps4 pro but i'm not talking about that yet uh the screens above and their noticeable detail aren't a product of new face scans the improvements are inherent to the work done this year Face scans in general are done during spring training and implemented the following year. So even the stuff you're going to see them doing this year isn't going to come into the next year. Uh, the grass patterns in 2017 are no longer fake like in 2016. Uh, they change realistically depending on the camera angle and how the light is striking the field. Uh, more licensed equipment. Uh, some more player creation stuff. 
Uh, the old head, the old 17 heads used through the years are gone, and they've been replaced by 49 heads based on different archetypes. Uh, you won't see any more of those monsters, says Russell. <laughs> Silver bone. That's good. So. Yeah, I'm a big fan of them updating the face. If for anyone who plays Road to the Show and who goes through several people, the the faces have been getting a little uh, a little dated. And for your trio of bearded hosts. Uh, we have 22 new facial hair sets, including some models from players such as Josh Donaldson and Dallas Keuchel. Uh, the number of hairstyles has been expanded, including mullets, mohawks, rat tails, African-American hairstyle types, etc., including old school hairstyles. So I really hope that means these old school hairstyles. I really hope that means like super huge uh, afro. Like I want the hat fl floating on in the hair. Yeah. Uh, the team's doing different model body modeling, uh, so you can get a uh, Husky Harris body type and sliders for hips, glutes, shoulders, and spine length in the player creator. Uh, Player-specific animations can be mixed and matched, so you can have a one guy's home run celebration with another guy's batting stance. Yes. That's that something... Was... Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I know you it... have strong feelings about it. Player models. Player models have been asked for for... Uh, this is going since it became the PS4, but even on PS3, um, people on OS specifically, but people playing franchise or just seeing the game have taken shots at the player models for years. Um, and this is a direct response to that saying, you know, you can change player models. It's not preset. There, there are preset models, but it's not just preset models. You can actually change the player models themselves. So that that's I think that's huge, not just graphically, but making the game look more. I hate using this word, but making the game look more organic, making each player more himself. Sure said so crispy. Crispy I just yeah. I hate using that word I, I, because it because so many people use organic and think oh well that because it makes the game more realistic. That's not what it is. It, it, it makes it. <sighs> It makes it more real, real life, more but not realistic. necessarily more realistic. Is what I mean. It's like, it's not going to affect gameplay. It's not going to affect animations, but it is going to be like if if I bring Cecil Fielder up on the screen, I want to be able to make sure his thighs and his hips are bigger. He wasn't one of those guys that was real big up top. He he had a bigger midsection and hips, and you couldn't do that before. Even right. even the large even the large uh, body type, you couldn't do that before. Are you announcing a new legend right here? No, I'm saying if I wanted to create Cecil Fielder, <laughs> right, if I want to, if yeah. I want to create Cecil Fielder, if I want to make Bartolo Colon, Bartolo Colon did not look like Bartolo Colon last year. Please, Braves ace Bartolo Colon. Yes, uh, I, I think that um, like the the additional focus on player creation probably goes hand in hand with uh, you know a renewed road to the show mode. I think if you're going to put the effort in to give people a new road to the show experience um, that it only makes sense that you redo the player creation engine to give people more options. I mean, again, like me personally, I'm, you know, I'm 235 pounds. It's difficult to, you know, when I go in the show and my options are like normal build or like super fat guy, you know, it, it's, so, I mean, to be able to, do you know different customizations and the other thing that i really really enjoy is to be able to mix and match the animations uh and i know that's something that that millennium talked about on his stream uh you know he mentioned specifically the fred mcgriff you know helicopter home run follow-through you know you could have a guy with david ortiz's batting stance but fred mcgriff's home run follow-through that i think that i think while it's minor is really really cool yeah that could that could work out real nice hopefully hopefully it looks smooth transitioning them all into each other uh because what i really like now like stuff like the mccutcheon home run swing i think it looks really good because they have that transition from the swing into the celebration like really well really well done uh speaking of not shying back from shying away from things uh one of the things in like the other tweaks and improvements area uh, of the game informer post which Hopefully, Snaggle J is putting the links to. It's there. They're in the chat. And they'll also be in the video description uh, if you're watching the archive. Uh, 
he mentions that in MLB 16, bunting was way too easy. Uh, guys were too lazy on some throws, and players could get sucked into the wall when they're keeping the ball uh, too close to it. And so they said the animations around the walls in particular uh, are being redone, as well as the shortstop animation and for getting runners out. So that's all the stuff like that we've been asking for. So I feel like they've watched some bullpen banter episodes and literally just took everything we said and started making the game better. So you're welcome. I have a feeling that we're going to see bunting be demonstrated on a future stream. Um, I, I would definitely keep an eye out for that because they were not happy. We, we all know that they had a problem with the widget. The, the fastball down the middle widget was announced as being incorrectly on during that during that stream, um, and it be on rookie mode. They want to show very clearly that bunting is fixed for seventeen. So I, I would I would look forward to that on a, on a on a stream. Maybe not the Diamond Dynasty stream, but definitely one coming up. I look forward to bunt cheesing Snaggle J like it's my job to make sure that this is fixed. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, and yeah, there was, and again, I think we've all talked about this over the last four or five days. There was a lot of unrest mm -hmm. after that first stream, specifically related to bunt cheesing. Uh, and you know, what they came out and said afterwards that the widget was on and fastballs down the middle and rookie that really did nothing to quell the you know, people who immediately threw their hands in the air and said, Oh my god, bunt cheesing's back. And, started getting retweets and likes and shares and, and all of a sudden everybody says, oh, well, it's not fixed. I do definitely believe that they're going to address this at one of these future streams. I also agree that it's probably not going to be Wednesday, um, which may or may not be a good decision. I mean, there is going to be a large percentage of the community that wants them to come right out first thing on the stream Wednesday and bunt for 45 minutes to prove that it's fixed. But I don't think the Diamond Dynasty stream is the place for that. I mean, looking through the rest of the stream schedule, uh, now that I'm looking at it, maybe they do. Maybe they do it on Diamond Dynasty. They're going to have the most viewers. They're going to have the most people that mm. complained about it because franchise gamers didn't complain about it. Yeah. It, it was mostly online head-to-head. -head. Yeah. So so yeah. looking at that, this may, uh, this may be the only chance they get to do it um, in an hour stream because I know they're going to try to keep everything to an hour. Yeah. They have so much to cover, though. I, I yeah. don't know. I just don't know. And remember, it's Wednesday this week, not Thursday. Yeah. I to got be, that a lot today. Yeah, I feel like it would either have to be this stream or the next one, because the next yeah. one is the little things. Uh, little bunts are a big thing. But. To be perfectly honest, if it was me, and again, this is all just speculation, if it was me, I would put out like a 7 to 10 minute YouTube video specifically to address that. And just be like, okay, this is where our bunting engine is. This is what it is. We're done with this now, and let's move on. Keep it off of the streams and, and just, you know, again, have that, like, take it separate. If it's that big of an issue that they have to go back and revisit it again, want, like, that again, that's my thinking of it. We don't really know what the actual, you know, plan is, but I definitely do believe that they're going to address it at some point. Can I also, just one more thing that wasn't brought up that I think we're going to see on a stream at some point or a video. Um, wasn't brought up today, but just real quickly about it. At some point, they're going to have to address dropped fly balls. Mm. They didn't. I, I, I said they were going to do it on the gameplay stream, and they didn't. Um, I have a feeling that dropped fly balls are going to be similar this last year, but like can of corn ones you might not see as much. But you're gonna have the people are gonna have to put out some kind of training or tutorial video, which they did say in here that tutorials are completely redone. Mm -hmm. Um, so I'm sure we'll see that at some point about jogging to the ball. I'm not I'm not gonna complain about feather the stick and people that don't know how to do that, but you've got to learn how to field a fly ball. And, and I'm not talking about you people that are like, oh, I've played baseball for 30 years and I played MLB the show back in 1997. It's different now. Momentum carries ratings. You guys are going to have to learn that, and I hope MLB The Show shows it. I just can't wait till I'm planted under one and I drop it again. That's going to be great. <laughs> I'm too fast. I'm there. I'm waiting. 
All right. I got a whole bunch of screenshots from this gold. This gold. gold. You stupid. You got me thinking about gold dust now. <laughs> I don't know who's. I don't know whose fault that is. Uh, all right. So I got a bunch of stuff from this. Uh, this GameStop MLB Mondays thing that we can take a look at. Uh, first off, looks like the uh, the play menu. Uh, we've got head to head with ranked seasons being the newness. Uh, play with friends, unranked play, and standings. Uh, single player has extra innings. Oh, they brought extra innings back, like to the forefront. Interesting. Uh, yeah, well, that was one of their top requests last year. Is they people or people couldn't find out where extra innings was. <laughs> I don't know if you've heard the anecdote that like um, uh, Microsoft always does a like poll of mo most requested things that people want in Excel, and like the top ten are always things that are already in Excel, but people just can't find out how to get to them. So now, I, now I fully innings. understand that. And the, the other thing is, too, uh, that extra innings being back on that front screen, play with friends and unranked play. Uh, I would not be surprised if you could not grind missions in those two modes. Um, I, I, I'd be, I'm curious to find out what you can and can't grind missions on. I hope they bring that up on Wednesday, but... I don't know, guys. Uh, I think the days of getting into a game with your friend and just saying, hey, let's just bunt, bunt our way through and grind some innings, I think those days are over. That's why you need good friends like us to play games that are real, not just bunting. They should just yeah, remove, but if you... This is what they should do. Ready? Ready for the quick fix? Remove bunting from the game. Rich Grisher doesn't want holding calls in Madden. I don't want bunting in MLB. Both necessities. Take them both out. No, I don't. I don't agree with that. Yeah, one thing, I just agree with that. Hundred percent. Yeah. Do it. Uh, Battle Royale. <laughs> I still don't know why we have this E in here. Uh, events. Events is the new hotness. We'll get into Can that. We in a little bring bit. back Battle Royale with cheese, please. No, no, we can't. Uh, Battle Royale <laughs> still sticking with three innings. Uh, I just noticed based on this. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, I assume this next picture is the one that I'm thinking of. So, the way Seasons is going to work now, uh, I guess, what's it, one, two, three, four, five, six, six games? I, ha I have no idea how many games this is going to be. Uh, but it looks like you can earn, wait, X yeah, it looks like you're going to be able to earn XP uh, and stubs. They don't really, they never really said how many games a season is, right? Just that Seasons could last. Uh, yeah, they said they could last uh, weeks to month to a month. I think they said, didn't they? I know there was weeks and months in the in the sentence. I'm trying to see if it has it. If they actually wrote it out in the. Uh, I mean, you can see like the first one that they have. The demonstration one says ends May 15th, which that would if if I mean if again this is all still work in progress, so we can't assume that the first season is going to run till May 15th. But that would be six weeks. Uh, yeah, it's so interesting. Just, depending on how much you win, I guess, uh, is going to be uh, what that reward is. I don't know what that thing is. Oh, is that tickets? So 200 tickets in that, yeah. uh, that level. I find it interesting that for some reason they have the team names blurred out. I don't know why they would do that. Uh, because if they're testing stuff, yeah, if they're, te yeah, whatever the test teams are, they don't want people to be able to see yeah, that. Yeah, I, I suppose, yeah. Especially if they're testing specific things, like saying, hey, this team is my power hitting team, or this team is my, I'm going to try to recreate a cheese bug. Let, let's True, leave it at that. Because yeah. you see I there are so. numbers above the Suns that look like double digits, so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you can Fair see enough. here that there's uh, there's there's new levels now. Uh, it looks like uh, spring training. I don't know what RS would be. Maybe. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, regular awesome. season, spring training, regular season, uh, all star. I don't know what that PR is. Wild uh, division series, championship series, and world series. World series, yeah. What is? I don't know what PR could stand for. What did pennant you miss? Race? Everything. Pennant race. Oh, uh, it could be pennant race. You're absolutely right. Pennant race. Mix. It falls in the timeline between wild card and all star game, I guess. Yeah. Sony San Diego studio yeah. in the chat room says, what did I miss? Hey, why don't you come talk to us yeah. <laughs> about all this blurred out stuff on the screen? I mean, you, can send me yeah. you missed some talk about, you missed some talk about gold dust, to yeah, be gold honest. Dust. And, uh, gold dust. Some hot, uh, resident evil discussion. Hot resident evil rumors. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I don't know 
how long this is going to last and how long it's going to take you to get up into each thing. Yeah. So that'll be interesting to see. And Seasons doesn't have a... doesn't look like Seasons is going to have a uh, limit on how your team is set up. So this is going to be like the free-for-all head-to-head thing for this year. Yeah. Um, one question that I've, I had a few people ask me on Twitter was um, looking at the various reward thresholds, if, like, are they are they cumulative? You know, like, if you finish at the All-Star game, do you get 250 plus 400 plus 500, or do you just get the rewards from the level that you finish at? Uh, that was something that wasn't really made clear. I don't know what you guys think about that. I, I'm going to say it has to be. It has to be cumulative because there's no way you're going to get 50 stubs for finishing one, and then or they're, they're going to give you a 1,000 to go up there. So Yeah, so I, I, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, so, like, I wonder. Yeah, I wonder how this is going to work because I feel like for six weeks you get 1,000 stubs. That doesn't make any sense. You know? Yeah. And, that, and that's the thing, right? So that's why I'm saying if you, well, you get let, let's say you make, let's say you make it, let's say you make it to the division series. Like if you finish the division series, people were wondering, would you still receive the wild card rewards, uh, which would be, you know, the card and the pack and, and the extra, I would assume, yes, I would assume every level you move up as you move up the levels, you receive the rewards. Uh, but it's just something that, you know, a couple people have brought up that they didn't uh, mention it during the article or during the video. But probably something that they will cover on Wednesday, I would imagine. Yeah, so I wonder if this is going to be like Madden, where it's like, <laughs> this is a 10-game run, and you're climbing up this winning. Like, you have to win eight games to get that World Series reward. You know? And kind of like a Battle Royale uh, reward kind of thing. I feel like yeah. that would make more sense, like so that you could get to the rewards a couple oh. times, though. But okay, so right off the bat, Sony San Diego says none of these rewards are set in stone. It's just data that they've inputted. So that talking about your fear of you know going six weeks and getting a thousand stubs. Um, there they say there will be more information on the Wednesday stream about rewards and things like that. Um, except oh, except the, the pro the program. So the, what we'll see later is the diamond program that has the ninety nine Griffey. Oh. That that card art is so sweet. I can imagine that's going to take a few months to get through for somebody. Um, it's at the actually, top of the list. Well, what what's co- and what the other thing that's cool here um, that we'll t- I'm sure we'll talk about later is under that division series win, you see you can get tickets now. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and they're not tied to the captains, like like to a specific captain or something. It looks like you can just I'm not saying they're not tied to captains, but in this case, they're not tied to your team using a captain's. Uh, Have we even heard the captains are still here? Well, I, didn't, I don't think yeah. I saw many of the screenshots, but no, we can go looking around. I thought I saw a tweet somewhere. I'm I'm trying to juggle obviously many different things at the same time, but. I thought I saw a tweet about it somewhere, but I may be incorrect. I'm assuming if we don't know for sure that the captain's store is coming back, we probably will know uh, in about uh, 43 hours. A boot that long, yeah. Not that I'm counting or anything. Can I just say that what you have on the screen right now is the best upgrade, I think, to Diamond Dynasty uh, di- uh, that we've ditto. seen so far? Ditto. Uh, events. Our weekly themes, where you play with restrictions. Uh, so this is kind of what we were talking about with the, the FIFA stuff, where there was limitations to your teams. Uh, this means that low-rated players you may have ditched previously may have some value. Uh, the game's first event is Wild Wild West, which you can see here. Uh, where you can only use players from the Padres, Dodgers, Athletics, Angels, Mariners, and the Giants. Uh, other op- events planned that will be introduced every few weeks. Uh, include include only having lefties. Actually, we have that. I think it's the next screenshot that you can see them all. Uh, events will have some rewards that don't show up in any other mode. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so you can see yeah. other stuff for having like a good win streak, uh, getting a bunch of wins yeah. during the uh, the thing. So I guess. Why uh, the, go ahead. In the chat, real quick, P. Kane says, "Isn't the Wild Wild West event the same thing as a captain mission?" No, because the event is everybody's limited to it. 
So captain missions, you would have to put your team yeah. to do a certain thing, but no one else had to do that. This is head-to-head -head games yeah. where everybody has to have this eligibility. And the cool thing about this is it's not just West Coast teams. Like, imagine, think of some of the tournaments that went on in the community this year. We had tournaments with, like, Battle Royale, uh, Battle Royale mm -hmm. limits yeah. or bronze and silver, like those kind of things. If yeah. they did that the entire year, that's uh, that gives so much more value to cards that lost their value early last year. So very, very happy about that and very cool to see already this kind of like I'm a sucker for graphics and for graphics in menus. So seeing they did the kind of a Wild Wild West with like the yeah. background, I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, 100%. That was the first thing that actually stuck out to me. I, I tried to watch the video all the way through the two minutes without pausing it just to kind of get, but I paused it at this point because, yeah, that stuck out to me, the fact that they put the, the effort into creating a great, background like i absolutely love this whole events thing i mean we've been on this train for months of please give us a reason to keep lower tiered cards in our inventory make them useful obviously this does that the two big questions that i get out of this that i'm going to be looking to have answered on wednesday uh, and I know tj's all over one of them is are we going to have multiple lineup slots like in Madden or NHL where you can have your regular DD lineup and a lineup for this. Is that going to happen? The second thing I'm wondering, and I, I think I know what the answer is, but if you're playing the Wild West event, are you only being matched up with teams that are also playing the event? I would assume that's a yes, yeah, I think you have to be. but still something that I'm going to look to see answered. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was the biggest problem was... You know, for some of these, uh, the team missions where it's like play 1,700 innings with X team. You know, if you don't have a friend to grind innings with and you don't like playing the computer, your only thing was, okay, I'm going to go make a team of uh, who's a terrible team. Uh, I'm going to use the Phillies for 1,500 innings in ranked head-to-head. -head. And you're going up against teams that are not conforming to those rules. And uh, you probably need to smoke because I don't think the Phillies even had a gold. So the other thing on here is the cumulative wins. Yeah. Um, Sixty seems high. Now it seems high for like a week or two. Yeah, yeah. I would think six. I mean, sixty wins sounds like. I mean, like a month pro, a month event maybe. Yeah. Well, now we don't know if those numbers are going to stick. Yeah, this could just be. But yeah, it could just be, a, again, placeholder stuff, just like most of the other stuff is. Yeah, because right, the, the Game Informer piece says events are weekly themes. So okay, so if they're weekly themes, 60 wins in a week where you have to get 10 games, uh, 10 wins a day, that's imp that would be impressive to be able to do that. Yeah. I mean, you want to make it a challenge, but you don't want to make it like unattainable for a lot of people. And, mm -hmm. um, I mean, I guess we'll point it out here. Uh, here you see this Anthony Rizzo card's in 88 gold. Uh, it looks like they've done some tweaking to the way uh, overalls are calculated. Uh, and I think we're going to see a big step back uh, in the ratings. I think a lot of guys that were in the mid-90s uh, are going to be high 80s, low 90s this year. And I think everything's just going to be toned down a little bit. Uh, I, I will say, though, there was a there's a community member by the name of Aqua who put in the ratings for the 81 Griffey. We did see that, and, and it could be it could be just for that player, but put in the ratings for the 81 Griffey into MLB The Show 16 and got an 81 overall. Yeah. So not saying not, – I, I hope they did some changes with that, but we don't know. We're, we're, that's that's speculative. Yeah. yeah but, and also, Kane brings up a good – I'm sorry, I got to finish no, your no, thought, no, TJ. No, please, please. I was going to say, um, Kane brings up a good thought, uh, good thought in the chat. Can you get the 60 wins? Are, are the events offline and online? Mm. So would you be able to play maybe for, again, for those players that don't necessarily like to play the game online yeah. but still want to do the card collecting, can you uh, do, you know, can you do these events offline as well? 
Yeah, events is in its own tab on the play screen. Yeah. Uh, so I would assume you could possibly play against the CPU. Yeah. But the thing is, if, I mean, yeah, again, it doesn't fall under the single player tab, like extra innings and conquest, which are specifically offline modes. So yeah, I would, I would hope that the events are able to be done online or offline. See if I can find this one here. Nope, not that one either. Mm, this one. Yeah, the Cinder Guard, by the way, um, we I think we did confirm that's a new card. Yeah, yeah. that's a 2015 card. Yeah. So. yeah. Uh, you're gonna see a couple you're gonna see a couple new cards as we go uh yeah. we'll release today. Yeah, very and, a very good one too. I like if it like I like the one the second base when we get to see. It's kind of cool. No, uh yeah, anyway. I think the rating stuff again, we've been hamming our hammering on this on Twitter all day. Please don't take the rating stuff very too seriously at this point. I'm sure there's guys crunching, you know, attributes into Excel on a 17 hour a day basis, trying to get this stuff updated. I know everyone's hammering on about the 97 Rich Hill. Just take a deep breath, relax. Uh, so this looks like this is gonna be some of the other, I assume this is some of the other event stuff. Uh, so there's like diamond studded, which I would assume is guys that are diamonds. Though I wonder what happens if you don't, if you can't field a team, can you just not play in that event? Yeah, you can't play. Then you can't yeah, play in the event. Can't play. Yeah, it's kind of whack. I mean, you'd have to think. Well, you'd have to think diamond stud would come out later in the year when people have an opportunity right. to get more diamonds. Um, I love the '90s. Guys born. I in mean, the 90s probably guys born in the '90s. High heat. Um, the other part of this is too. So high heat. How do you guys with with high good arms strength. maybe? Yeah. yeah, high arm strength. Well, I was saying the same thing because of like glove work. You know how hard it is. You know how hard it's gonna be able to find a bullpen with good gloves. Yeah. So I mean, I I, lo I love this idea as as a guy that likes to do the team building aspect more so than playing other people. I love that I'm gonna be able to go into events and create different lineups. Yeah. And that's why we need the way to save those lineups as we create. Them. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I do wonder how. Okay, so Silver Shields is here. Uh, I think that's tied into some of the flashbacks and stuff. Because uh, I think we saw. Did that Calvin Junior have a Silver Shield on it? No, the the one we think is the Cal had like a had like a uh, trophy on it. Yeah. But I mean, what I mean though with the Silver Shields, I mean it could just be silvers because the silver yeah. also uh, the emblem shield. is a yeah. shield. Yeah, it is. Yeah. All right. Good call. Good call. Yeah. Uh. I'm excited. This is some, this is all just very good. Uh, we got a couple uh, card things. So I assume here's a good thing. It looks like when you go into the event, uh, like team builder stuff, um, it's gonna filter your cards by only cards that are available for that event, which is kind of nice. Uh, yeah, because everyone on that screen is a West Coast team. Um, yeah. and Matt Moore, uh, Julie Sersin is on there. Yeah. Oh, I can see that. Well, uh, oh, you know what though? People were saying this was the screen where you weren't going to get your Diamond Dynasty player anymore. You can't use your Diamond Dynasty yeah, that's player. Right. Event. Okay, now yeah, because now that you look at that and you see the press options to enter the team. Yep. So, so uh, what? I'm, so look. maybe it doesn't have a separate lineup spot, but when you start yeah, the you event, you have to in. enter and lock in a team for that event. Yeah, that's how gotcha. that's how Mutt works. Yeah. Uh, when you're doing online seasons, you can lock that team in. Then you can still go sell those cards and stuff, but they're still locked to that one, that one thing. Also, it looks, it, go ahead. Yeah. One second on the second on the Diamond Dynasty player thing. If you look at the equipment screen, which I think we'll get a chance to look at a little later, mm -hmm. where where it shows yeah, yeah. it shows the four tabs of saying uh, player collection, equipment collection. The equipment collection screen still shows Diamond Dynasty on it, so we still have our Diamond Dynasty player. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think yeah. I think they did mention that at some point that they're still going to be in there. Uh, yeah. Though, I think we did just answer another one of our questions. Uh, looks like there's going to be five captains this year instead of six. Because uh, you get the little stars on the bottom of these cards. Five stars. Yeah. Uh, oh, actually, no. But you know what? Um, while, the, while the stars are there, that's actually for... Oh, that's for the ins IE. inside edge. Oh, that's okay. IE because well, that, if you look at back. that, Garrett yeah, if you tell us something else we were talking about today. Yeah, if you look at if you look up the Orioles uh, team selection screen, Kevin Gossman has five stars and goes from eighty one up to a ninety. Mm. So that, 
It's uh one thirty. If you if you have the video anywhere with you, the Twitter or anything, it's one thirty six in that video. Uh, but yeah, also a lot of people went crazy today because they saw Rich Hill had a ninety seven diamond. But again, yeah. these are definitely not grain of salt. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone anyone looks up ratings in any game pre release. You're gonna have a problem. You're gonna be very upset with yourself. It's just that's the way it is. Yeah, You're not gonna get that. Especially today, we've we've already gotten so many like differing things because uh, mm -hmm. there's a 92 Madison Bumgarner here. But t earlier today, it looked like 89 was gonna be the highest gold you can get. So yeah, but he does have think, the diamond background. Yeah, I I mean I've never worked on a video game before, but I would assume finalizing of the ratings is probably one of the very last things that happen. Well, yeah, because the rosters aren't even going to be finalized. So. Yeah, yeah, and that's the thing. I would, I would assume the ratings is one of the very last things that they lock down because the the algorithm that computes them is so complex. There's so much data that goes into it. But I mean, you know, like because they update them on a daily basis with Inside Edge and a weekly basis, you know, with roster updates, there is a mechanism for them to quickly put updated attributes in the game so they can leave it till the last possible minute and then jam them in you know the day before they're shipping the discs and away you go so I well they only have to do them when they ship the discs the rosters yeah, are on the can, server yeah, yeah like they can said, do it yeah. With, with the day with the day zero patch so i wonder what this uh there's a hunter pence 2013 flashback uh and it looks like the logos on the flashback cards like show what they are like so now you'll know if it's postseason flashback or something uh, I'm trying to figure out what that 2013 award is. Anybody want to guess? He finished 16th in the MVP, so I don't think it's that. Glo Gold Glove? No, it can't be Gold Glove with a V, right? Yeah, it looks It looks like... I don't know. I don't know. Well, uh, he won well I'll look it up while you keep moving, yeah. He won the September, 23 he won the September 2013 uh, NL Player of the Month. How's that? Is that good? Well, Led League and games played? Mm. He did play 162 games. Like you said, he played every game. Uh, v. I, I don't. I, I can't think of anything that would be, that would be what V would stand for. So uh, his range factor per game as a right fielder was first. Um, it was his age 30 season. Maybe it means veteran. Nah, it looked like there's four things there, though. I don't think it's just a V. Okay. Well. Speculation, obviously. Pablo Sandoval, so I guess that flashback's back. Oh, okay, yeah. Apparently, people are saying in the chat that the stream aim went down. Uh, if the stream is down, just hit refresh button. And, of course, if the stream's down and you think it's down and you're saying refresh, you can't hear us right now anyway, so. Also, right, that so it doesn't matter. Go tell them about that. Oh, my. That was a terrible spelling of refresh. <laughs> I wouldn't be bad. Good on the side. Oh, yeah, no. It's probably uh, Twitch has had a week and a half of uh, hiccups here lately. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, not to go way off topic, but, like, you can't I, – I wasn't able to export videos from the video manager, but if you're, on, if you're actually watching the video and click settings, you, it worked from there, and they're like, yeah, it's just something you got to work around for now. I'm like, well, it's kind of a big deal, but anyway. Power of gaming.youtube.com slash that sports gamer. Make sure you go there and subscribe subscribe. Uh so we got the we got the Pence flashback. Looks like there's also I don't know, this Hanley Ramirez is, is a ninety three on the Dodgers. Which is interesting. Yeah, so that that's that's Dodgers Hanley. I, like I said, that's that's not a um that's a flashback, right? All right, it's on the Dodgers now. There's, well, okay, then we're not looking at ratings anymore. <laughs> Let's just stop looking at ratings, yeah. He's 93, and he doesn't play shortstop anymore. So. Uh, okay, next. Let's see what else we got here. Also, it looks like, I mean, I don't know if this is actually going to be real, but it looks like they took out the uh, fake shadow people. And they're just going to put it mm -hmm. on the show 17. The guys they don't have. Uh, programs. This is that collect screen. Uh, so we've got missions that are still going to be there. Programs, tick encounter, and uh, my inventory. Yeah, I want. So I wonder how, if captains are here, how they're going to work. Maybe they're not. Maybe it's just going to be a store. Yeah. And you just get tickets no matter what. Well, like I said, the, the ticket counters suspend your hard-earned tickets on unique rewards. What is going to be under that 
tab. Well, I'm sure we'll, uh, again, Wednesday, we'll find out a lot more information about that would be my guess. Yeah, and also it looks like there's going to be early missions <clears> this year. Uh, so you can get started right when you're right when you get the game. Uh, that says everyone can do these and not just a set number of entrants. I have no idea what that means. Just somebody tell me how I get that Griffey. Please. Please. These are pretty <laughs> just for the... Griffey. I wouldn't even... I might not even use them. I just want them for the look of that card alone. Uh, also, it looks like there's going to be some missions that are limited uh, limited time. Uh, like, I, I guess as short as 24 hours. Uh, and the rewards will be the same stuff. Card, packs, equipment, coins, I guess, etc. Uh, the big thing, actually, is uh, live content will be updated every Thursday. So I don't know if that means the rosters are going to update. I would assume so. Because yeah, because the, the, the roster update is – the roster update it goes hand-in-hand hand with the new updates. So. Yeah. But that seems like yeah. – I feel like that's something that you should have mentioned, not in just this game. Not in just this game important piece. And when you say the live content – team will update every thursday and it just feels like something that... the heads up tj uh they're saying in the chat you might be quieter than everybody else your mic yourself interesting because i didn't touch anything no just saying um anyway so just i mean just keep going it's no big deal uh we see there the other thing is too when that reward screen uh it looks like there might be different standard packs for the rewards yeah, yeah, I, I noticed I can't that too. Zoom in that close, what does it say? Well, it's just a different. It's different. Uh, it's a different picture than the card the art that they had for the seasons. Correct? Was it the, yeah, is it the same picture? No, it's the same. Same picture, gold background instead of blue gray. Oh, so maybe that's a. Uh, well, that could just be like reward packs and stuff. But hmm. well, that should be interesting. We'll see that. Uh, yeah, they didn't really go into the programs too much other than saying that this is going to be uh, some of the stuff might be longer, might take longer periods to unlock. Uh, well, and it did say that they're going to have tiers in the, within the program. So once you get to 10%, you'll get a reward. Once yeah. you get to 20%, you'll get a reward. Like you, they have tiers within the programs. Yeah, so yeah it's that, not was like just this... that was in the video. They just showed that, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Yeah, I just yeah. pulled up the, uh, the screenshot yeah, yeah. of that. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah, so if you get 10%, you'll yep. unlock some, 20, 25, 40. So I wonder if those. Hmm. I wonder if those are going to be like. Do you just get that at ten percent, or do you have to unlock it? I, I would be oh. guessing unlock the above re of rewards by completing the required mission sets. So as you're doing missions in you that program, it. yeah, you have to do each one as it goes. I'm good with that. There's that. That's our first look at a uh, a Ken Griffey Senior card as well. I would agree with that too. Chase Chase C in yeah. chat says that you know he's assuming 99 Griffey won't be available to at least the All Star break. I, I would probably agree with the fact that there's going to be cards that are involved that you cannot get until you know through the season goes. Yeah, he says this program specifically uh, can't be fully unlocked until the All Star break. Right, uh, and there yeah. will be a few different diamond programs throughout the year. Well, I mean, Carnivore says if everyone has him, it'll be lame. I mean, I don't think that everyone's going to have him. Yeah, everyone needs, but everyone needs to have a shot at him. Yeah, it's I, not going to be easy. I, I want to say, and, and I'm going to say the same thing that that I said like at the end of last year. I don't want to see the top ten players in the world being the only ones getting shots at cards. I want everybody that if they put the time in or if they put the money in to have the ability to get any card just because you're good at the game doesn't and that's not saying you cardinal but i mean just saying in general just because you're good at the game doesn't mean you should have unfair chances at cards yeah so i still don't have that a rod yet just saying yeah yeah uh what else we got here uh mission categories start your journey here collect acquire items throughout diamond dynasty time limited these missions won't be around forever and exchange acquire new items by exchanging ones from your inventory that's kind of interesting i don't know if you guys remember what did they call it was it the grinder the recycler the recycler uh where you could throw a bunch of cards in and get a fancy better card 
That was I thought that was I thought that was a really cool thing uh, that Diamond Dynasty did back in the day. Uh, so if that's kind of what's coming back, that's pretty awesome. The the picture kind of looks like like a landfill almost. Mm-hmm. Um, so the recycler, I think the other thing that I thought was maybe sets kind of like Madden does, where instead of locking guys in, you're exchange you're, you're taking hey you have these five guys to get this guy, something like that. So I, I agree with you. I think it looks more like the recycler now that I'm looking at the picture of it, but I would also not mind seeing hey. If you collect these five guys that went to like Auburn, um, you get this better guy that goes to Auburn. And how did that uh, how did that work in like Diamond Dynasty thirteen and fourteen? Because they had sets like that where they had like get all the guys in the cover, but I don't remember what the rewards were for doing that. I mean, it was a better card. It, it was, was always it? a better card than yeah. It was, I think it was always a better card. Um, the recycler, like I said, I just I'm not a fan of throwing random cards into something to get something out of it. I'd like to I would rather I would rather see it have some kind of direction inside of there. Yeah, well you might know what it is though. Like it might be like throw in five silvers for a gold. Like is that right. enough is that spe- specific enough for you? Yeah, I mean that's okay. The recycler was never that I don't think the recycler was ever that specific. But I, I might have given you like percentages. Maybe. No, yeah, as you put cards you, in, it was a percentage. I think you remember that. And it, to, and it told you, like, what position it was, depending on what positions you were putting in. Like, if you put in a bunch of garbage center fielders, you would get a good center fielder. If I, re- I feel like that's... I feel like I remember that right. I think it was based on the yeah. positions of the cards that you are putting in and stuff. And that, that's kind of... Chase kind of has the idea that I think, too, is that it, it, people already, already like using different cards. This may incentivize you to have, like, get other cards and use them if there's missions involved. Mm. I mean, like, uh, like sets involved. Right. Yeah. Along with events that we already saw. Uh, the only thing... But see, the thing that keeps it separate from Mutt is that in Mutt, when you do the sets you lose those cards. And right now, when you do the collections and stuff, you keep the cards. Well, that's why I'm saying it's called the exchange and it's under the mission category. So it actually says acquire new items by exchanging ones. It doesn't say by locking ones in. Yeah. Yeah. Usually also in in Madden, a lot of the exchanges, usually you have badges involved as well, which obviously the show doesn't have. So I, I... it's hard to say what it could be. I mean, is it going to be like a trash compactor where you can throw five cards in and here's a card? Or is it going to be like very specific tiered sets? I'm, right. Well, who knows? But either gonna... either way, either way, it's something else to do with your cards, yeah, which is... is which is a welcome addition. And specifically since this is under the mission thing, this could be the this could be the new lock your rookie cano for the prime cano. But yeah. rather than keeping the rookie cano, you lose it and you get the prime one. It could be yeah. as simple as that. Yeah. But also a lot of menus. I feel like it was slim. Yeah. The- I have seen I've seen um differing opinions on the menu system. I've seen some people that like I personally think it looks very nice and clean. I mean, it's very difficult to judge menus when you're not actually sitting with a controller in your hand and going through them. Um you know, I've had people say that based on the video, it looked like the menus may be a little more complicated or difficult to navigate. I don't know how you can say menus are difficult to navigate based on a slideshow. Right. Um, you know, maybe but pull I mean, the reins, pull you, the reins back a little bit on that one. But like, you look at those mutt menus and you're like, okay, I am completely lost. I know that I is, have a silver badge that yeah. I want to put into a set, and I have no idea where that set is. That, for the last two years, is the number one reason why I stopped playing Mutt, because I can never find what I'm looking for, and it takes forever. Uh, <laughs> so, would you, again, would, you say that, uh, would you say you still haven't found what you're looking for? I still... I don't want to... I might sing it too good and you get a copyright strike out of it. So, But yes, I still haven't found what I'm looking for, but Again, the menus here, I mean, obviously when you're adding new content, you have to add new menus. Uh, and then you have to update the graphical user interface to ensure that, um, you know, everything is located. But yeah, you know, no, it I, is what I agree. it is. But, but you know, like right now with the, in the mission, like in the missions menu in Diamond Dynasty now, 
it's all tabs, so you can just keep it's switching between. Yeah, it's all tabs. Yeah. So, I mean, bouncing in and bouncing out, it's gonna be it's gonna be at least an extra click. Yeah. Which, I mean, it doesn't seem like much, but if you're, that's the thing with mutt. It's like, okay, I have to add sixty cards to this thing, and it's like, that's yeah. a lot of clicks at some point. But, yeah. But, One thing I would love, and I, I've advocated for it, and through various mediums, is if the mission page is similar to the mission page. Um, that they have in 16, please, please add the ability for me to be able to hit like triangle and flag a specific mission that I'm working on and Ooh, yeah. move it directly to the top of the page. Oh, yeah, that, <laughs> so, that would make sense too. Like, a, like favorites, mission favorites. Um, yeah, or missions where it's like feed stuff, like le- uh, you need to show me Give me the short stops that I need to feed. Don't just make me go find them. Like if I'm feeding White Sox, just give me a, a screen with all the White Sox. Don't give me, I have to go through each position to find each thing. Are you saying like Destiny? Well, so San Diego Studio said in, in the chat, like Destiny. So well, I think what you're trying to say though, it, it, correct me if I'm wrong, is like if you have the ability like to, to select cards, you want to be able to say, hey, let me bring all of the cards that can go into here and multi-select them, right? Yeah. You're talking to me? Or yeah. well they, they they Sony San Diego just said involved with what you guys are talking about. So are you talking about like a selection system like Destiny? Oh I was talking about like the the mission the mission list. Where like let's say you're working on let's take an example from MLB 16. Let's say I'm working on um a player stat mission with Brian Dozier. I want to be able to go on the missions page and click a button and move that mission directly to the top of the page so that I don't have to go to the bottom of the page to look for it every time to see what my progress is. I know it's a, it's a, it's not that you know huge of a pain in the butt for me to do, but I'd like to be able to tag the active oh. missions that I'm working on so that they go to the top of the page. Right. Right. So like starting okay, so like if it is destiny, yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. You you're doing like uh you're doing like you put a little star next to them, and yeah. they automatically go to the top of your queue. Yeah, so like, yeah. Way, like yeah, I get you. I get you. Yeah, just to be because again, as as this especially later in the season, um, you know the mission is if you don't if you don't complete them all in a quick time frame, they get pretty plentiful. <laughs> uh, yeah. And, but, go ahead. No, no, that's all I was saying. Is just, I'm looking at you flipping through them on the screen, and like I said, I would just personally find it easier if I could, like the specific ones I'm working on, if I could tag them, and they either go to like an active tab or they just move to the top of the page that they're found on. Actually, an active tab would be nice for ones. That an active tab would be nice too. It's also a possible, uh, possible uh, solution. Yeah. Well, the other thing too is, but if you have an active tab, if you don't, if you don't get to select what's on the active tab. You could you could yeah. theoretically have everything on the active tab if you play like an inning with every team. Yeah, what I, the statistical yeah. ones would just be there all the time, essentially. Right. Yeah, yeah. I'd want it to be exa- like watch listing people in the Madden draft board. Mm-hmm. I got a seventh round QB that I like, but I can hit one button and then I know every time I go to my watch list page, he's right there. I don't have to scroll to the bottom of the guys to find them. You know, it's also really cool that people don't understand sometimes. Don't don't know. You can check a lot of your missions on the shownation.com. Yeah, true. So, uh, but so what I was talking about is if something like, let's say for example, this embodies the Rocky mission. I am at zero percent now. To go work on this, I need to back out, go to my squad, go to my created player, go to train, go find Rockies. So actually, what I do is I go to my team inventory, I write down the overalls at each position that I have Rockies at, and then I go into the thing to try to find them. Uh, but if I could just go from this screen, boom, get a, a search thing similar to uh, do, 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 where was that one? Similar to say, oh, I left it. Where is it? Uh, similar to like the event type thing where it would only give me guys specific for that uh, mission, like specifically the embody missions, that would be extremely helpful. 
Oh, uh, so so much like what you're saying, like what they're doing for events, have it be able to like if you have to do the Orioles, bring only Orioles up on the screen. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. We're, we're, uh, yeah, we've talked about that, like even trying to bring the the filter that they have when you're on the market to bring that filter to the team page True. so that you could filter out by position, by team, by uh, card series, for example. Ooh, by guys with player stat missions. That would be yeah. Better. Yeah, absolutely. Then I don't have to keep an Excel spreadsheet with what guys I need to have in my lineup. That'd be handy. Yeah, but you'd do that anyway. True. That's True. I love Excel spreadsheets. Hey, you can, if it's not written, it's not real. Uh, so next up, we got some new. We got another new card. I mean, technically, I guess these are new cards. We don't really know. Uh, another uh, K, uh, Craig Kimbrell. Well, I guess is this card in the show? It's a. Yes. I think that's a new art. I think, but the the one we already have is that card. This is rookie um, year, and I guess that's for an All Star logo. I would assume. I would assume the you're a? probably correct. Yeah. yeah. I would I would have to think that that is a all star logo with an A and a star in it. I mean, can we can we really assume anything else at that point? Yes, the other one is. <laughs> it's funny, the card that's in there now also says all star game on it. The gotcha. nine that you can get. And and as you can see, there the Warren Spawn, the postseason, um, which again brings up a very good question. the The picture that Tips released today had a very defined trophy. So what does that mean? <laughs> Uh, it has to be an award-winning season, right? Yeah. Right. Well, that's why. You, that's why you I, would think so. Uh, I mean, I don't. I didn't take a screenshot of your tweet, uh, but we believe the first card in the envelope that uh, at MLB the Show underscore Tips tweeted out uh, was a 1991 Cal Ripken Jr. card, 91 tops. Shout out to the best uh, set tops ever put out. I believe that was the 40th anniversary of tops, also. Uh, check out the Benny Santiago, also the Wade Boggs. Uh, also top traded, Chip Jones rookie in there. Yes. Uh, but yeah, it looked like there was an award on that, which was uh, Cal Ripken Jr.'s MVP season. So, so yeah, so, yeah, so that's, that's the trophy. You know, we'll have trophies, maybe silver sluggers at some point. Um, gold glove seasons would be really cool. So anything like that. Also, you know what I noticed on the screen that got me really, really excited? The radial menu now has the ratings on it yes the, the specific numbers which are awesome the one thing i want to see is i want to see if the catcher if they can put a catcher on there and make sure that the blocking rating is now on there because that was something missing last year that would be handy. um yeah i would like to see that yeah agreed and hey what about that little number at the bottom of craig kimbrell's uh wheel there the bottom right hand side it's an 83 what does that do home runs for nine yeah. Man, Who knows? Last time I checked it, sure doesn't do nothing in head to head gameplay. I sure hope it does something in 17. It means yeah. he's going to let up 83 home runs per game. Per nine innings. So, That's, yeah, divide per that nine innings. That's a lot in, with that one inning that comes close out. Better have I mean, you guys, you guys might say, I, we have some people in chat saying it doesn't look that great. Guess what? I don't care if it looks great. If it makes it so I don't have to click player card, I'm perfectly fine. Jay Fowler, we know it's a simulation stat, but we're arguing that it shouldn't be. It's. Well, yeah. I'm most well. Yeah. I'm arguing if it's a simulation stat, it shouldn't show up on this. Yeah. Uh, is there anything different? But no, I I agree too. While it might not be the nicest thing on the eyes, that putting the numbers on the wheel, oh man. Yeah, I don't really. <laughs> How much I, time that's going to save you when you're going through the market and things of that nature? Mm -hmm. Oh. I don't need that red circle around it. I guess, but I guess that's just showing where the end is. That's showing all them 99s, hit for 9s, K for 9s. He's kind of good. 96 Actually, velocity. Just, yeah, that Kimbrel's, that Kimbrel's half decent. That reminds me, I need to go uh, complete that mission for Red Sox. And thus, the AL East. Oh, I need two, two random Red Sox bums. God. Also, they showed off a bunch of flashback cards, which we've seen all these cards. Uh, except for the Cinder Guard, which is new. Which is a 2015 Cinder Guard. Right. I just want to address one thing in chat. PK oh, says me too. He, hates, he hates per nine stats for guys to pitch one inning. Okay, so they should just get rid of ERA, WHIP. They should get rid of any stat tracking yeah. for relief pitchers. Then I guess. Yeah, I mean, it's it's just like you guys are taking the 
the ratings terms too like too seriously. What do you want them to call it? You want them to call it, uh, you know, the hits allowed attribute, the home runs allowed attribute. It's just what it's the it's likelihood they're that they're going to give up those things. But you that's know, just the stat in baseball, so I don't know why. Yeah, exactly. They're just trying to correlate it to real life. If the relievers have to have some sort of, you know, like you can't say, well, the starter should have attributes for how, what the likelihood is they're going to give up hits and home runs, but it doesn't matter to a reliever. Heck, yeah, it matters to a reliever. It's probably more important for a reliever, his tendencies to give up hits and home runs, because they pitch in very important game-changing situations. PK, and they do do per appearance. What do you mean about per appearance? What I'm telling you, though, is in real life, they have ERA and WHIP based on their time over a full season. That's how per nines are done in MLB The Show. They're three-year weighted. So you're getting so like that hits 99 for the Craig Kimbrell, that's specific to that year. Yeah. To live series players, when you have a hits over 99 of 80, it's because that yeah. guy weighted heavier for the last uh, year he played, and then you get a, a couple extra stats from yeah. two years ago and three years ago, show how effective he has been in a relief role. Yeah. Like that, that's what he does. So yes, I, stats are the that, that's the same thing. Those per nines are the same thing as ERA and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, it, it's and that's the thing is you know there there has always been and we've done a lot of debating on this show about the specific ratings and what they do and and, and you know how they affect certain players. I don't want to say like mystery, but like. Questioning what ratings do and how they affect the player is not specific to MLB The Show. Every sports game in existence is like that. The ratings, they're not there to be interpreted, but they're, you know, they mean different things to different people. And it's like Sony San Diego says, what the ratings do is specifically in the strategy guide, which I'll be the first person to admit, I've never read. I've just, you know gone with what I thought the ratings were and then I've you know read online oh that's not what that means okay well let's do this another way Hold on, but there's a strategy cap apparently there is wait is, um, that, is that like a prima guide where I literally don't know what this <laughs> nobody nobody's but, gonna help me thanks guys appreciate it no we're just leave, gonna hang we're just, we're just gonna hang you, you really don't know are you, are you really gonna say that because there's a strategy game, strategy guide in game that you can go to with any one yeah, of them. It's, um, it's where you in can the see, game. <laughs> yeah, you can see not only what the ratings do, but also some tips on pitching, um, base running, which apparently you have a problem with TJ anyway. So maybe you should read the strategy guide. Those buttons are uh, way too convoluted. Yeah. To say? I'm literally serious. You really don't know? Yeah. Yeah, guys, clutch. I, I I do know that clutch gives a bonus to hitting and pitching with runners in scoring position. Is this an options? Credits and tutorials. Somebody, any anybody? I don't know. Uh, oh, so nobody. Everybody knows about it. It's nobody in knows game. Where it is. No, no, it's in nobody game. It's it in is. game. It's in game. I just said it. In game. Yeah. So you want well, me to I mean, play a head-to-head -head <laughs> game? Pause it. I'm gonna go spend my five minutes. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 easy, easy. Go turn a computer game on, a game against a computer. I don't play the computer. Just a play now play, game. I, I don't believe it's under credits and tutorials. I think you have to. Oh, look at that! Up oh, in the chat, Snaggle J coming through. There is the user guide that has the strategy guide in it. Where? I'm not in the chat. Where is it? <laughs> Maybe you should be in the chat for your own stream. I'm not the community sure. manager of Blue I don't actually, I don't actually know if the strategy guide's in this part. I just it's uh, not. I just found Why yeah, would just, you put something here and look at it? I just <laughs> found the guide. It was I found the guide on the website. I was uh, thought I No, it's it. in game. There's there's a there's a strategy guide in game. Um it should be in a better place. How about that? Tell Brian Ma to stop being so good against me in Root of the Show. How about that? That's all I figured out trying to find the strategy guide. <laughs> Why are you going through the credits of the, of the game? Maybe that's where the strategy guide is. Oh, there's Jeff MacArthur. We saw Jeff MacArthur on the stream last week. Oh, give the guy's some, the, give the, some the hot guy's stream show the guy. Seems like a nice guy. Oh, oh, guys. The touch screen. You can use a touchpad to scroll. Some of They're not under those tutorials. Find it then, sir. 
It's in game. Start a game. I'm not gonna do that. Because if you keep going through the freaking credits, <laughs> Nick Livingston, senior designer. There he is. I'm leaving. <laughs> Ramon Russell, community manager. Oh. Uh... Vic Rounds, community specialist. Oh yeah, no, I have, I have honestly. Have... Curbanius Saint Johnius. Um, I, I I hate disagreeing with things that people put in the chat, but. Uh, yeah. I actually enjoy having saber metric stats in the game PK and I know some people don't like them but you know what they're they're usually on their own tab if you don't like them just don't look at them but that's the extra square uh, right yeah I, I I actually do I do like them I I enjoy especially as a fr as a franchise as a franchise player I thoroughly enjoy having the Saber metric stats. I actually use them quite frequently during free agency and things like that to further evaluate players. But they're they're not super duper prominent. I mean, the only one that you see regularly is when you go to the leaders page. They have like a tab for war. Uh, war. Yeah. War. Can you I? Can, can I just? Well, can I, can this is a, I don't. I came back. I, I I came Did back. Hear him, I can't, I can't watch this anymore. Say war. Yes, I, I can. I have to say this. PK, yeah. listen to me. PK, PK, come up real close to the to the um to the to the head to the speakers right now because I'm going to talk to you. Guys, trust. you're in a video game that does it does calculations based on numbers. Saber metrics measures baseball on numbers. They are a marriage made in heaven. You can't play a video game based on numbers like that on hunches like how i feel you have to have numbers to represent the players in the game that's what sabermetrics does and the more sabermetrics measures baseball the closer you can get to actual players in the game so please I'm begging you. I know you might not be a Sabermetrics fan, but understand the correlation between numbers in a video game and numbers in real life. Ura. Big fan of Raw 9. We are under the lights this evening as Did we you get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. It should be a good Diamond okay. Dynasty so matchup tonight. Yes, they do because they're a Reddit team. They were, they're created on Reddit. Feel free to go harass Millennium show, on Twitter at the link in the next. chat and talk about Sabermetrics all day long. Because you're not going to be able to turn us around that Sabermetrics shouldn't be in the game. Here you go. Strategy guide. If several people have pointed out, if you don't like them, don't look at them. I agree with Cardinal Bird that defensive uh, defensive war is very, very subjective and it depends yes. on what site you're looking at. But there are other defensive stats that aren't. Um, yeah. You can probably go there. Now, you said it breaks down what each thing means, right? Hey, hey don't don't say we. We oh we didn't say anything. Tell me, tell me where it is. I'm here. I'm looking. I'm in the game. I came all the way here just for you. Other? Is it under other? What are you looking for? You said that the attributes and what they do is in here. Go strategy guide. I'm in the strategy guide. I'm right here. Is it good other? other? I'm in other. I'm in miscellaneous. So that's quick counts. Okay, keep going. Oh, I'm looking. I'm probably on a delay. Yeah. Oh, Stop know. asking about home runs over nine before I blow my brains out, please, on stream. Because <laughs> I'm yeah. not having that fight. But in yeah, theory, no. it technically, home runs over nine is huge in uh, franchise. Franchise mode. It, absolutely. It's a sim stat. We, I understand that. We've been fighting for it to actually be a part of the game. It's it's harder to program than we think it is. I get it. <laughs> I agree, Big Dag. Big Dag makes a very uh, a very good point. Defensive war depends a lot on where the, where the ball is hit. It, it's hard to measure range, and it's hard to measure um, uh, consistency based on defensive war. I agree with that. Sony San Diego and Sony San Diego and chat. If only you knew how much MLB clubs use advanced yeah. analytics. You know what? I may not know exactly, but I agree with you. You are one hundred percent right. That's what they, it's, it's not just MLB. Every sport uses advanced yeah. analytics. Pro Football Focus actually has NFL freaking subscribe like NFL teams subscribing to them. 
They yeah. charge I found it, guys. Yes. I found it. Good. Shut up. I found it. Let's, Easy. Can we hide this anymore? In a game. We're all friends here. Control. What was it? In a game. <laughs> strategy guide. Oh, sorry. In a game. Controls and strategy. Strategy guide. Other. Page four. I found it. There Good. Go. Okay, so throw that sort of thing. Hits per nine. Influences how often batters get solid contact against the pitcher's pitches. You know what's yeah. not in here? Oh, so it could do anything. Just that. Confidence. The so, dynamic measure of a pitcher's reliability and condition. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be the token Canadian just for a second. Right. Talking about advanced stats. Five years ago, nobody in mainstream hockey media talked about advanced stats. Sure, they, they existed. And it's huge. I mean, the, you know, you most every app, every website you go to has some form of coursey rating applet or something somewhere that you can go evaluate players. The advanced stats are exactly that. They're more advanced than your basic home runs, RBIs, or your basic goals and assists. Again, it's it's subjective. If you want to play franchise mode, where in MLB The Show, I think these advanced stats probably have their biggest focus, don't look at them. They're not right stuck in front of your face where you have to deal with them. But for those of us who like using them, you know, we love it. It's, it's one of those things that I would be very, very upset if they took it away. Like, I don't understand, PK, and how it bothers you. You don't have to look at them. They're not there for you to be upset about. So, did you guys know that? I guess in the post game, you can look at the pitcher batter filters, and there is a thing for hit chance, which labels swings according to the accuracy of the PCI person. Zero being the worst. Left tennis. While a 10 will always make good contact on a good time. Huh. I feel like I need to look at that one. I feel like none of you are looking at that one. Possibly because this thing was super good. Face on ball. Yo, this stuff's super interesting. This guy. Uh, that's where we're well, we were going on about advanced saber metrics. I don't. Remember. I blacked out for a minute there. All right, I want to saber metrics tonight uh, for the Sat on the Nikes. That's where I got to meet Paul Spore in real life, and Joe Nakari, and Ben Lindbergh, and a bunch of other guys. Good times. You know why? Because saber metrics are cool. I'm glad. I'm glad Millennium's typing in the chat because I thought for a second he may have hey, killed. Hey guys, what has Billy Bean ever done? I don't know. Who's Theo Epstein? Maybe we should really look at who Theo Epstein is, huh? Oh, that's right. He's the guy that Billy Bean trained on how to build a team and just built the Cubs that won the World Series last year. Get out of my chat. I mean, I believe it's technically TJ's chat. Actually, not your chat. Um, Whatever it is, learn <laughs> baseball. Let's let's move thing, along. Move well, along. here's here's look. Here's the thing. Like, if you really look at it, you know, batting average is a saber metric. It just doesn't have ten more layers to it. All stat they're all just stats. You know? And you probably didn't even know that sack flies count against you. I mean, I didn't know that. And now I do. And now I think stats are dumb. All of them. <laughs> more importantly, can we look at these cards? Most of these are all comebacks. Uh, Griffey flashback, obviously new. That's the one everybody's getting, right? The eighty-nine. Yeah, the, hops the rookie. Yep. Yeah. Eighty-nine hops traded, I believe. Yeah, the one that they. Uh, yeah, the one they they gave a rundown of Thursday stream. It's so upsetting. Like, I mean, it's not upsetting because I know. I mean, it is upsetting because how business works. But I really wish they had that that upper deck card because I feel like that is the. Iconic Kenneth Jr. rookie card. Can't have them all. I'm going to have a mental breakdown reading this chat. I'm not going to lie. People wonder why. Smart guy's not in the chat. I take a knee like Robinson Cano. That's what I did. Yeah. 
Uh, anything else? Let me go. Uh, I can't run up too well. Nice jersey. Listen, you know what the most important thing about Wednesday stream is? I need to know how I make my logo in MLB 17. There you go. Can I just bring this over? Can I just upload something? It'd be way easier if I could just upload something. I think somebody said too, wasn't there in the very in the first or second frame of the video, was there not a new font type for jerseys? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Do we? It's... Am I really doing this? Hold on. Hold on. Oh, I, I, I can look for myself. No, I mean, I can bring I just thought I, I thought I saw that on the old uh, Twitter machine. If that's what we want. I think I can bring in the video. What do we want? The video. When do we want it? Now! Uh, yeah. Maybe. Maybe not. What up, Mookie Betts? I got Mookie Betts playing center field for me. You know what he did in my last game with him? Caught one in the noggin on a dive. And then uh, I had to take him out. Okay. Shout That's probably bad. Who's, uh, who's breaking my outfielders? Why is this? Uh, let me tell you about Windows 10. So good. Okay. I'll take your word for it. Minus when it's super slow. By the way, just so we so we get this out of the way, Billy Bean took a Oakland built an Oakland Athletics team in 2002, to a 103 win season with a 40 million dollar payroll, and they've been to the um, since he's been the GM with one of the lowest payrolls in baseball. They've been to the playoffs eight times. Mm -hmm. uh, I have I, one question for you, Ken. Uh, Tom Brady just got one for the thumb. How many does Billy Bean have? Just curiosity. And I can only make fun of him. Because fans are going to pass along. We got one on the pinky. Real Marin 5, AC Encinitas 0. Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. You know what that means? They've lost a lot of playoff games. Think about that. Right. Guys, guys in the chat, uh, I know that Sony San Diego Studio is here. I hate that we have to say this anytime he, that someone is here. Please don't pester him about information. He's not going to tell you anything that's not already available. If you, if you guys are looking, yeah, he, if he ain't telling us. He ain't telling you guys. Um, yeah. Hey, you want to slide into my DMs and some info on some hot meat cards, please? But guys, you know what? Go on over and follow the uh, show on Twitter. Check out the content calendar. Wednesday at uh, 2 p.m. Pacific time, 5 p.m. Eastern. They're going to be doing a Diamond Dynasty stream. That's where you're going to get your answers. Unfortunately, the only answers you're going to get on bullpen banter are the are the ones that the three of us give you. Which are probably much worse compared to the ones that you're going to be getting. Yeah. 90% of the time, we're right half the time. Yeah. That sounds right. But if you want to know what's in MLB 8, in, going to be an MLB 18... Just listen to our episodes after MLB 17 comes out. Exactly. Because apparently all the stuff that we said last year, is, or the beginning of this year, is now in the game this year. And see, look, I just got proven as right. Sony San Diego Studio said I'm right. There you go. That's one of the 50% of the time. Anything else? Anything else we want to talk about? You want to talk about esports? I'm sorry. I can't say anything on that subject at this moment. Oh, snap. I think... I think... <laughs> Like, honestly, like, just in general kind of closing thoughts, I mean, it's, we're very, a very short amount of time into the content release window, and like I said at the top of the show, I feel like that the hype train is already running wildly out of control, mm -hmm. and we've still gotten absolutely no news about franchise, barely any news about Road to the Show, and yet this you know, the one stream about gameplay where everyone was so high on the bat on ball physics and now today with the Diamond Dynasty information, everybody is is it seems like the hype has been ratcheted up and in a very, very good way. I just had a great idea. First off, how do you pause a Twitch stream on the app? Ridiculous. Who invented this nonsense? And? Well, because I was thinking, uh, maybe I can actually get the answer to my question. Uh, 
tonight. If you call a pitch out, will the catcher meter be bigger than if you didn't call a pitch out? Yes, we, we that is that is something that we're we're pondering. Does a pitch out called affect the size of the catcher throw meter in any way? I'm all about that war, though. Yeah, I don't know. That's all. I mean. That's my one. That's my one uh, remaining question from the last stream. Hey, check out this. Oh, is there a place where I can see how many of these things I have? <laughs> how many of what things do you have? Can I use a ritual disconnect in Road to the Show? No, no. It says I can. I think you can go check to see how many of them you have. Oh my god, I have all of them. Yeah, I have. I have a lot. 123. I feel like that's not that many. Wait, do I get? Can I quick sell one of these? No. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, yo, if they... I could get ten for these. I'd be... <laughs> yeah. I can't even. Sell yeah, that's what we need. That's what we need to do is start giving people stubs for disconnects. Oh my god. Man, I gotta sell this equipment. I need to get all this out of here. So, Millennium, do you have any grand thoughts? You've been awful quiet the last few minutes. I've literally jumped out of the fridge. I've got, I've got grand thoughts. You hear my grand thoughts? Not happening. Sorry. Um, I will say that, guys, don't forget in the last few uh, months of the season here, or last, I guess, month and a half of the season, you can't take the subs with you. You True. can't take, you're not gonna take any of the cards with you. No My suggestion, if you are still playing the game, which a lot of us are, go have fun with it in whatever mode you play. Um, I know a lot of you saw that I was selling off my Diamond Dynasty team so that way I can get equipment for Road to the Show. Um, that, that's my my choice. Or because he's stuck in me and doesn't want to play anymore. That too. Um, but I would say... You know what, P-Kane? The human race survived without, uh, without toothpaste, but I'm not going to stop brushing my teeth. Anyway, but think um, about it this way: cavemen never had to go to the dentist. <laughs> anyway, so point made. Uh, so yeah, you go go ahead and make your road to the show characters. Remember, they carry over. Uh, if you want to buy budget for a franchise, don't forget that'll carry over. Carry um, over? Equipment wow. does not. Equipment does not. Please remember that. Um, is that y your equipment for Road to the Show, guys, and your sponsorships for franchise guys do not carry over. Go have fun with them. Go get that, like, those XP boosts for your Road to the Show guy. And then make them real strong in, like, two weeks. Team Tebow's a monster. How much is an XP boost nowadays? Uh, depends how long you want it for. Where are those things at? That's actually a good question, Cardinal Bird, is how many people use stubs in franchise? Um, Definitely. I would say, I, I do hope that the, the franchise, the way that the budgets are done is a little different. It, it's not it's not cheating for me for one reason, Cardinal Bird, is that if you look at if you look at the way budgets are done in franchise mode, they're always $10 million above whatever your current payroll is. Like, no matter what you do, they're always $10 million above your current payroll. If you go into a regular roster and create a super team, your your budget is still going to be ten million above that. So, uh, I, what I would say is, until that changes to where teams are restricted to their real life budget, um, I don't know that using stubs on them I would consider it cheating. I. I, I do agree with what, what CB5 just said about redoing the budgets. I'd like to see them be a little more dynamic during the season. Dynamic. <laughs> Which is the Diamond Dynasty theme, but we're talking about franchise for a second. Um, that's one thing that, uh, and again, I've harped on this a few times on different streams, is, is how well I find that NHL currently handles budgetary things in their franchise. I feel like as you progress through your franchise in NHL, when you get to, say, January or February, uh, depending on how your team is doing, the owner will reevaluate his goals. And often those goals will be sometimes uh, budget-related. He'll say, well, you know, we're in the playoff hunt. You know, 
I'm going to eliminate this budget now restraint that I had on you and, and free up like, something and like that. I do wish the budgets were a little more dynamic based on where you currently are. Like if you're in dead last, I want my owner to come to me and say, hey, you need to cut 10 million off the payroll because we're in dead last. We need to trade some dead weight in that kind of sense. Number 15 will dig in for the first time now. He's got that average up nearing the 340 mark to begin playing. Well, when you look at what this guy's done so far, Maddie, he leads this ball club in average. Yeah. He's been a huge part of the uh, yeah. so far this season. I think, uh, I think we got everything Throw good. Gets him any, two down. Any uh, remaining things we want to talk about? And get our bad. Here's a look at the visitor's so starting lineup. Our Thoughts, our EK? Anyone stand out? You know, number, <laughs> they're getting a lot of production out of that number two hole right now. He's having a really nice season with the bat, sporting a slugging percentage over 500. So there's a good chance. Anything? Nothing? Are we good? Are we good for tonight? number 15? Nope. Just remember that the uh, it's twitch.tv slash Sony San Diego Studios. Um, they are streaming on Wednesday, not Thursday this week, 5 o'clock Eastern, 2 o'clock Pacific. Uh, and it should be about an hour. And their archive is always up immediately afterwards. So, and it is all Diamond Dynasty. It is Diamond Dynasty the 15th. Then after that, they go back to doing their Twitch streams on Thursdays. So. <clears throat> the blogs on Tuesdays and uh... yeah, yeah. Streams always on Thursdays. Okay, I have two things. One, if you guys are going to really argue fun. in the chat about Meanwhile, stats, can you guys at least try to be somewhat correct? Center, Saying that Joe Carter races. had 120 yeah, RBIs batting behind Tony Gwynn in the 90s, nice he played in San Diego for one quickly. season and had 115 RBIs. At the plate, so if you're going to argue, can you try to be somewhat correct? We'll stand in now also, with you guys in let me off the hook without mentioning Robbie Alomar being the Padre in Diamond Dynasty. Yes. I'm going to bring it up. Really I'm going to bring it up because I'm a man of my word. Yeah. Yeah. That and there's pisses me off. But I, mean, but I think it's going to end up being real, a, but the thing is, a Nolan Ryan it, type situation. Yes, it is it is Robbie Alomar's rookie card. I, don't know if I, I got will... I know you're listening. I will be crushed if there's not a Blue Jays Alomar. Like, I mean, or, a piece or, of me will be hurt. You, you want me to really hurt you here? You want me to really mm. cut deep? Mm. I mean, is it his rookie card? It is, yeah. You sure? Because he had an all-star season in San Diego. Yeah, no. I've, did you, I've, you double, I've, you double I've, check the card art? I've been looking it up. Oh, yeah. So then so then after that, after that, I mean, you know, he had a gold glove, silver slugger, all-star MVP uh, 20th ranked season in... 1996, Did you know, you when he that left you think a guy's that gonna team. have a 20th ranked MVP season card? No, he was he was he was voted in the MVP voting. He was he was uh, 20th, but he had a Gold Glove, Silver Slugger, and All Star. You know, he was 28, prime of his career in Baltimore. That could be the prime card we get. Maybe maybe just skip right over Toronto. Just give me. You know what you need? You need a 92 postseason flashback, Alomar. That's the one. That's the one. But I would. You know what? I will be hurt if Chase. I can. I, I can almost even handle. I could almost even handle could really Alomar be on Padres. Now because but if Alomar gets a Orioles card, I'm, the... I'm done. I'm done. It's his two best years, 1996 and 1998. Chase and Chat, my man, should be a Baltimore Oriole. That's what we should get here, baby. I just got intentionally walked and got hurt. Well, that's Tim Tebow. He got hurt kneeling at first base. The glass he Tebowed at first base, bruised kneecap. Also, you know what? And Cardinal Bird mentions about the no Jays Joe Carter. That's fine. If you give me well, a Carlos Delgado Jays, I'll all will be this forgiven. man went above and beyond in this one. He's our top player okay, of the game. I don't game. care. Carlos Delgado as a Blue Jays. I don't care what he plays. Bullpen in the ninth, but still. Eight strong innings for him. I, I, spots all game I had a rough couple of minutes there. I'm not going to lie. So that's a wrap here tonight. For my <laughs> I didn't help that tonight. No, Harris you made Steve it so Lyons much. I thought you were joking. I literally you get, you post that in the You've Discord that you were, MLB the show. And then I went <laughs> and, and found more, it. And I literally, like, lost my mind. You ready for this? You'll get your Dave Steve and like it. Yo, 91 Dave Steve? Yeah, really give me good. a yeah, you, give me a 1985 Dave Steve or 87 Dave Steve. Give me too hard. I could handle it. I could handle a Dave Steve. That's that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. That slider, man. You give me Dave Steve with that slider. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put that to work. 
You give me Dave Steve with four pitches and three of them are the same, I'm going to be pretty upset, though. That was one of the questions of the day in our Discord, by the way, uh, the, the bullpen banter Discord. is and Again, we have que question of the day every day regarding MLB The Show, if you guys want to join up. Um, we had a question of the day where it was, what player would you want to see? What legend would you want to see in MLB The Show 17? So... So uh, our Discord's always hopping with something going on, so go ahead and join that when you get a chance. The correct answer is Andrew Jones. Although you are not allowed to join it if you don't believe in sabermetrics. If I see you, I will throw you out. But I don't understand. Wow. What is the difference between sabermetrics and just stats? You know what it is? It's advanced stats. It's the same damn thing. There's an extra parenthesis, is what you're saying. Hey, did, you, did you just get Enos Cantered? <laughs> Fresh in hand from an intentional walk? Yeah. <laughs> How? Did you punch the base when you got there? Must have. He prayed. He was like, thank God. Ugh. Broke his thumb. He's hard-headed. <sighs> okay. I don't know. Guys. This, is, this, is, this has been something, guys. I'm not going to lie. We weren't even supposed to be here tonight. Yeah, I know. I'm here on my night off! They put out so much stuff, we had to come back. Uh, you need to read ahead of the curve, by the way, TJ. Is that the Brian Kenny book? Yeah, I think so. That's from Chase G in chat, who I also suggested if you, uh, if you have Netflix, uh, Fastball Yo. on Netflix is amazing. Have you seen it? It's I, so good. I watched it today. I watched it today so on his. Yeah, very good. Bob Feller should. Hey, guess what? Oh, we should talk about that. Uh, well, I guess we kind of did last week. Uh, the Warren Spawn card. Snaggle J, say your thing. What about it? About the velocity rating for Warren Spawn. Oh yeah, we we were we were obviously bouncing around what we think about the velocity rating. A lot of people made hay about the fact that they said on the stream that um, his velocity was ninety seven. He could touch ninety seven with the fastball, but his velocity rating was sixty nine, I believe, sixty three, somewhere in there. And we were hypothesizing that you know maybe velocity is not the velocity rating is not indicative of your max velocity. Uh, but, you know, the fact that he throws, maybe he throws a 68-mile-an-hour screwball and a 70-mile-an-hour curveball and a 73-mile-an-hour changeup, so that velocity rating is just kind of like an average of all of his pitches. But just purely speculation on our part. Uh, yeah, this is the movie corner. Uh, we also have a recommendation of Knuckleball uh, and also always the recommendation of the Kevin, Cla Kevin Costner classic for Love of the Game. Literally the only DVD I have in my office. No, no raw spoilers. Keep the raw spoilers out of the chat. I'll, I'll, I'll ban you. Not even kidding. All right. Are we guys good? We, we guys good? Uh, Snaggle, I'll see you again Thursday. Millennium, maybe, I guess. If not, we'll see Paul Spore. Because he doesn't like Millennium. So if Millennium's not here, he'll hop on. Ouch. Is that cool? Just, just make sure, make sure you don't have someone in chat telling him the stats don't matter. Oh, baby, can we get, can we get Peace Boar on the hotline real quick? Did I tell you the story about when we were at uh, Sabermetrics night? They had a bunch of like random Sabermetrics up on a board, and they're like, "What is this one?" And nobody had any idea. We looked it up. It's like a Fangraph specific stat. Nice. It was, it was a uh, weighted walks. Something like that. Ooh. It's a fan graphs only stat, and the people at fan graphs didn't even know it, it existed. Paul won't have to ban him, Red Sox. Yeah, yeah. You know what? We'll uh, TJ. You'll have to go on Nightbot after this. Grab the chat archive. Just email it to Paul and uh, let him stew on it for uh, three days before we stream again. Uh, I believe raw spoiler. I believe Bryce Harper's there with a Cowboys hat on. Gangster. That's that's bullpen banter then. That's that's how hard he is. Uh, also, you can see this beautiful diamond squad with that beautiful silver catcher, because Jared Salt Lamakia, best catcher in the game. Uh, are we good now? Yep. All right. Follow Snaggle J on Twitter at Snaggle J. Also, check out his YouTube channel, YouTube.com/slash Snaggle J. Uh, I guess all the links you can go to are at SnaggleJ.com as well. He went correct. Out. He spent a dollar ninety nine on the GoDaddy. Though, probably like $7, because Canada. Uh, that's how you can find him. Ten ninety nine. <laughs> was it really? 
I could have just, just bought it for you for like a buck ninety nine. All good. Unbelievable. Uh, Millennium, you can follow him on Twitter at Millennium OS. Check him out on twitch.tv slash Operation Sports. Also, uh, their YouTube channel as well. Uh, you can follow me at That Sports Gamer. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Hit me up over there. Uh, the archive of Bullpen Banter will be on youtube.com slash That Sports Gamer. Hopefully tomorrow, but you never know how YouTube's editing thing does. So could be tomorrow, could be next week. Uh, any big streams uh, planned for this week, Millennium? Yeah, I do. I have a stream uh, coming up tomorrow that talks specifically about OPS and its effect on baseball over the last 20 years. <laughs> uh, for OPS Plus? I am it's so not gonna be OPS Plus, War. Um, we're going to get into some defensive zone, uh, some defensive range. Um, we're going to get into all kinds of great statistics and well, how they're actually helping baseball instead of it's nerds reinventing baseball. Well, look. Here's the best argument you're gonna have for sabermetrics. Derek Jeter won a bunch of gold gloves. Derek Jeter couldn't get to a ball three feet to his right. Gold glove has nothing to do with statistics, and it I'm never so, has. But people I'm think so you're a great glad. defensive guy if you can get a ground ball two feet to your right. But no, I need guys that can get him four feet to my right, and that can only be done with D Pover. I think is like the rating. God, I can't wait to do this. I'm sorry, guys. Too late. Too no! <laughs> Unban him. I want it. I just timed him out. You can ban him. I'm banning him. He's gone. Who? <laughs> Jay Fowler uh, wants a flashback. Yankees postseason Raul Banyas? PK got the arrows. He called he called us nerds. That was the last straw. Done. I'm done. Uh that'd be said in all seriousness, um, after the stream on Wednesday, I will be we've been doing live breakdowns uh on the Twitch uh, on the OS Twitch, so We'll do that before we do bullpen, uh, and then we'll do bullpen banter on Thursday night. Is that you said? Yep. So, yeah. So after you watch uh, Millennium stream on Wednesday, talking about that, uh, you can head over to twitch.tv slash OTP developments, and I'll be talking about uh, out of the park baseball. We can watch me get fired uh, from, from the, the Braves. From the Braves. Yes. It's not just like, fire mill anymore. <laughs> first off, they resigned me, which I literally don't understand. Also, I just started spending money, and they didn't stop me, so I. Don't know what's going on, but I'm very excited. I think I have Paul Goldschmidt, and I also think I signed a $30 million uh, Japanese pitcher, so I'm pretty excited. Uh, Snaggle, you got anything special coming up? Uh, yeah, I didn't stream tonight, so I might actually stream some MLB The Show tomorrow night. Uh, also, as always, Wednesday, Wednesday Night Wednesday, Warfare, right? Whatever. Wednesday Night War Games. Uh, if You know, you guys are always doing sports on Wednesday. If you guys are a little sick of the sports on Wednesday, come on over to twitch.tv slash snagglej, where we stream Battlefield 1 on Wednesday nights, 7.30 Eastern. And then Thursday night is Whalers NHL 17 franchise, which is going really well and has been a lot of fun and has basically turned into a bunch of Ric Flair memes in the chat. Woo! Uh, so, so, so it's been block him, please? It's, Thank you. It's been a good time. All right, what? guys. Uh, yeah, we'll be back Thursday night right here. We're going to break down uh, the stream. More screenshots. If you like us talking about screenshots, uh, that's what we're going to be doing here. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for coming out. Really appreciate it. Uh, I did hear uh, a super big request uh, for a flashback card in the show this year. Uh, <laughs> but before I mention that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mute these guys so that <laughs> Millennium can't say anything. Uh, but hey... What we really need is a 2016 postseason flashback, Zach Britton. Uh, so if Sony San Diego can make that happen, that would be great. Uh, but other than that, much unlike Zach Britton, uh, it's time for you to get out of the bullpen and get into the game. Take it easy, folks. <laughs>